Folks, welcome to Swing Trading Today. This is Bob Desmond over at the Contrarian Trader, and it is at current 5.33 in the a.m. Eastern Standard Time, May the 14th. Let's uh, talk about what we will be chatting about this morning. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to revisit some comments I made on a Sunday evening with regard to Bitcoin and gold, where we predicted that we would see a breakout on both of these trades. Then we're going to talk a little bit about why. The why is behind. They are rallying right now. I have 22 trillion of them, plus a few others. And then we're going to talk about the pre-market activity in the futures market. But before we turn to the commentary of the day, let's pay the bills first. I want to talk to you about TrendSpider. TrendSpider is one of our partners. Do you not have the time to sit, draw, and annotate your charts? Or are you new to technical analysis and really aren't confident yet in your ability to identify manually support and resistance levels? Well, TrendSpider is for you. If you're looking to backtest strategies, TrendSpider is for you. Don't risk your capital when you're able to backtest your strategies, whether it be overbought, oversold conditions, in a risk-free environment using TrendSpider. You can link to TrendSpider using the link below if you're watching this on YouTube in the video description area or above if you're watching this on the website. And if you check out, please use discount code CT25Z. That gives you 25% off. And if you join the Contrarian Trader and you become a silver or gold level member, you get TrendSpider for free. So act now. Okay, let's get to the comments that I made on Sunday evening with regard to Bitcoin and gold. Uh, if things get really ugly with this trade war and we get a retaliation out of the Chinese, that may, may just keep a bid under Bitcoin. So we'll be looking for a pullback because this is unsustainable, this trading above the third standard deviation Bollinger Band. We're either going to trade sideways or we're going to pull back. One of the two. It's going to happen in very short order, too. It's not going to stay above this Bollinger Band. This is the third standard deviation Bollinger Band. As I teach members, we are not supposed to be there. It doesn't mean that Bitcoin's going to crash. It means that it's going to come in a little bit. Either trade sideways, thus alleviating that overbought condition, or it's going to pull back some. And on RSI four-hour basis, we have RSI 85. It's a cryptocurrency, very volatile. It can go higher, perhaps even up to 90. So I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. So what I'm looking for here is a breakout on gold. And you're not finding many, many bulls out there on gold. Listen, folks, uh, a lot of people are thinking short term with regard to this market. And when people ask me why I am bullish on gold, silver, the gold miners, cryptocurrency, I'll give you 22 trillion reasons in rising why you should be bullish on gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, etc. because it's an alternative to the U.S. dollar. Because at some point in time, the Chinese are going to pull the trigger and they're going to allow these short-term bonds that they own to just expire and not renew. What's that going to do to yields here in the United States? The gig will be up. Now, when I recorded that video, we were trading up here on the 12th in the evening, well above the third standard deviation Bollinger Band. And I said that this was unsustainable, that we would pause and get a pullback, and we did. Then what I mentioned was that we would probably see a bid under Bitcoin due to the fact that the Chinese would ultimately retaliate for the tariffs imposed by the United States. And that would put a bid under Bitcoin, and sure enough, it just took off. So this is the value of knowing the charts, but the charts are only one component of being a successful trader. The other component is knowing the macroeconomics, the whys behind why a position should move in one direction or the other. So if you're looking to outsource your analysis, please think about the contrarian trader. We have a 14-day free trial offer. We also provide trade alerts. Now, I did mention 
that we could quite possibly see RSI hit 90. And we hit 89.27 on RSI on the 13th. And we are still trending higher on RSI. At current, we are 88.04. Uh, we did see a reversal bar here, this last four-hour bar. These are all four-hour charts. And this bar closed at 5 a.m. That was 38 minutes ago when this new bar opened up. So we'll look and see what happens here. There is some hot money chasing Bitcoin right now. We are up today 3.17%. We are long of Bitcoin, and we are up well over 65 70% now on this trade. Let's take a look at gold. Now, gold on Sunday evening, I predicted here that we would break out. And sure enough, on Monday the 13th, we did in fact break out. And we even traded above the 1300 level. Now, a lot of people say 1300 is the critical psychological support level for gold. It's not. It's 1310. Watch 1310 on gold. We are building a position in the gold miners. And to get to the reason of as to why we are building a position in gold, the gold miners, and in Bitcoin, I'll give you 22 trillion reasons, and I'll also give you a couple of other reasons. Let's go to ZeroHedge.com. The deep state knew this was coming. Barr appoints U.S. attorney to investigate FBI DOJ spying on Trump has investigated FBI before. So Barr has pulled the trigger. And I'm not talking about a, a trigger on a pistol. I'm talking a bazooka. And he fired it straight at the Clinton machine, the Obama machine, and the deep state will get their back up. Now, what will they do? Well, they'll, they will attack President Trump, Barr. They'll now at attack this poor guy, John Durham. This poor guy is going to be in the crosshairs of mainstream media. So he didn't take on an easy job, that's for sure. Now, what are the other reasons? U.S. accuses Iran of attack on Saudi tankers. Folks, this is ramping up and ramping up really, really big. You had Hamas shooting rockets into Israel. Uh, now you have this event where you have a couple of ships which were attacked. And we've already moved B-52 bombers into the region And we have a carrier task force or two already in the Persian Gulf. So this is ramping up quickly. What better way to distract from poor headline news during a presidential election cycle? Ramp up nationalism. And what else? Here's a tweet by Ray Dalio. And while Ray Dalio, I, I watched a 60-minute interview, another guilt-ridden billionaire it doesn't make him wrong on everything though uh so what he tweeted out the other day and i think he's absolutely correct uh, people need to stop calling for conflict between the u.s and china a trade war because the term is misleading it's an ideological war of comparable powers in a small world it's not nearly as much about trade as it is about other things he's he's spot on this is all about influence it's all about the United States holding the position as the world's reserve currency, but the Chinese are undermining it every turn, which is why you have the crypto yuan to compete against the petrodollar. So a lot of moving parts influencing the rise in Bitcoin and in gold. Don't ignore it. And many will say, well, you know, doom and gloom and why not? No, I see a lot of opportunity here. There's a lot of ways to make money if you are on the right side of this trade. Let's segue over and into the pre-market activity. Okay, back to gold. Gold we've discussed. Uh, we are down this morning, but we're rallying off the lows. Uh, we became overbought relative to the third standard deviation Bollinger Band, and we pulled back. I think we're moving higher here. Again, watch the 1310 level. Let's take a look at the U.S. dollar. I replied to a Doug Cass tweet on Twitter last night. Uh, Doug is long of gold. If you're not familiar with Doug Cash, he is the founder of Seabreeze Partner and a very smart guy. And my comment to him was that I was watching 
the U.S. dollar. And while it reversed off the lows of the day yesterday, I believe that on a four-hour basis, we were beginning to see a head fake, meaning that we reversed, we rallied up and into resistance, but we would probably stall. And that's what happened. We pulled back overnight, rallied sideways, attempted a rally. We were rejected at this upper band of resistance. So I think that the dollar is probably going to pull back further here, and that will put a bid under gold. Let's take a look at the pre-market activity in the stock market futures. We'll talk about the S&P 500. We are rallying this morning. I'll give you my thoughts on how we might trade this rally in the markets today in a moment. Let's just first line up where we are at in the pre-market. So S&P futures up over a half percentage point. The NASDAQ is rallying as well, nearly up a percentage point. So what I'll be looking for here on both of these indexes is honestly a fade. I think at a bare minimum, we're going to retest the lows of the week. Remember, we have a new weekly low, and we may just take this opportunity today, should we begin to see a fade, to close out some of our long positions and to perhaps get short of this market. That's not a commitment right now, but it's a thought in the pre-market. So members, we will talk about strategy later on today on Market Wrap coming out after the close. And that is it for this morning, folks. If you're not currently a member, please sign up for the 14-day free trial offer. If you're not ready yet, that's cool. Just please follow me on YouTube, leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you. I have a video series below, Bob's Five Most Powerful Candlesticks. If you watch this on YouTube, uh, scroll down there. Enter your email address, we hate spam too. You'll get five, a five part video series. And again, for those looking to learn technical analysis and are tight on time and tight on confidence, please take advantage of Trend Spider. Use discount code CT25Z. That's a 25% discount. And you can access their website by clicking the link below on YouTube and above on the blog. Everybody have a profitable trading day and be well.